guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can describe yourself and someone else in French. In case you don't know me, Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Belter Academy. Tout d'abord, Joyeux Noël, Merry Christmas. Doesn't feel like Christmas in Southern California when it's this warm, but this climate does remind me of the climate I grew up in in southern France, Mediterranean. So we're going to cover three things today. The first thing is that we're going to cover the verb that you need to memorize in order to be able to talk about describing people in French. Second of all, I'm going to teach you both the questions to ask and the answers that you could give to talk about describing yourself and someone else. And third of all, I'm going to give you the tip, bonus tip at the end, on how you can easily memorize these words. On y va? First thing is the verb that you want to memorize. You want to memorize the verb être. Être is simply to be. We use to be in many ways, but one of the ways is to describe people. Let's look it over together. Je suis. Je suis. Tu es. Tu es. Il est. Il est. Elle est. Elle est, on est, on est, nous sommes, nous sommes, vous êtes, vous êtes, ils sont, ils sont, elles sont, elles sont. And doing those little visuals as you're learning and you're memorizing this is really important, especially if you're a tactile learner. If you're like, what the heck is a tactile learner? You're going to want to watch the video that talks about learning styles and how they can best be used to learn and especially retain anything really, but it applies to languages as well. So if you're wanting to ask how a person is, the question you're going to ask is, comment est-il? Comment est-il? How is he? Où, comment est-elle? Comment est-elle? How is she? And then if you're talking about a physical description, you're just going to plug in the right word with il est or elle est. He is, she is, right? Donc, par exemple, il est grand. Il est grand. Ou elle est petite. Elle est petite. So it can be used for physical description, but it can also be used for personality, right? Donc, la personnalité, par exemple, euh, il est comment? Oh, il est très gentil. Il est très gentil. Comment est-elle? Ah, elle est adorable. Elle est adorable. Oh, lui, il est radin. Il est radin. Elle est très généreuse. Elle est très généreuse. Il est très sportif. Il est très sportif. Elle est fainéante. Elle est fainéante. So you want to learn that list of adjectives. Adjectives is simply describing a person or thing. So you want to learn those. We learned this in our 101 and 102 classes at Beltier Academy. And those are just words that you can learn little by little. As I promised, I'm going to provide you the tip to learn these words that you're going to want to use to describe yourself or describe someone else. Before I do so, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you learned something out of it, which I know you have. And second of all, I want you to click on the subscribe button so you can be notified of our epic French Friday episode. So you're introducing yourself, you could say, and you're describing yourself, you could say, ah, je suis petite, je suis blonde. J'ai les yeux marron. Hein? I have brown eyes. J'ai les yeux marron. Euh, je suis professeur de français. Je suis youtubeuse. Euh, je pense. Je suis gentille. Euh, je suis énergétique. Je suis passionnée par les langues. So you can use that description to for many things, whether you're talking about your job, how you are, what you look like, or what others are as well. So the key to memorize this list of adjectives, these, this list of intensive 
words that you're going to want to learn to describe others is very easy. There's one key that I always recommend my students, whether former college students or my hundreds of students at Belter Academy, simply to learn the word with its opposite. For instance, méchant, gentil. Radin, généreux. Travailleur, fainéant. Fort, faible etc etc and that's it by learning the word with its opposite it's going to help you memorize it and you can easily do so by just creating yourself a checklist and if you've watched the video so far i'm going to provide you with a last bonus point on how you would learn these words with their opposite you can use an app also a website called quizlet and on quizlet you can search or create your own index cards where you can easily learn adjectives with their opposites a bientôt tout le monde